Architects and city planners are finding more accurate ways to design and monitor municipalities through digital twins. It's a technology that has been in place in space exploration for more than a decade and is finding earthbound applications right here in New Mexico. As News 13's Chad Brummett discovered, the real-time information it provides could change the way we think about developing cities of the future. <laughs> It's a dream solution for city planners, state and federal agencies, and really anyone looking for real-time data on their properties. And you can understand where garbage trucks were, where really high density populations were hanging out, whether or not parking was completely filled at your favorite concert, or if you just wanted to understand how traffic was moving. We could get so much more real-time, pertinent, truthful information from a digital twin in a way that hasn't really been possible before. A phrase first coined in 2010 by NASA, the concept of digital twins has grown into use by a variety of industries. We see digital twins as a way to help um, sustain us past the ribbon cutting. Essentially, a digital twin is a real-time representation of a building or object outfitted with an army of sensors. And those sensors can relay a multitude of data, including temperature, foot traffic, tenant behavior, and so much more. Steve Jobs put a computer in your pocket, and with digital twins, we're hoping to put a building in your pocket instead and really give you the ability to see at every perspective what a building is doing, how it's evolving, and how we can change it to better fit our needs. Felix Diaz is the director of advanced technology for Decker Perrick Sabatini, an architectural firm here in Albuquerque. He says that the firm has been testing the emerging technology and architecture on a subject that is easily trackable themselves. It helps us to amplify what we already do extremely well and gives us another tool, another voice, another way to show our clients that we understand what they need, but more importantly, that they have a way to tell us what they need. The team at DPS says that digital twins are utilized long after the ribbon cutting for a new building. Over time, architects and designers can analyze data collected on a building to better determine how it is used in real-world applications, make corrections and diagnostics from remote locations. Wow, can move things around this just is like so that. crazy. And even inform <laughs> future right. renovations and expansions of existing designs. And we can really help to help clients, property managers, to realize uh, how important that is and what the, what the digital twin tool can bring to them in terms of predictability in what they're doing, uh, long-term, budgeting, a number of different things. Benjamin Gardner is CEO of DPS and he foresees digital twins being a game changer in the industry. And for a company like Decker Perrick Sabatini, who hosts a diverse portfolio of clients, the tool can help small educational institutions, retail and multifamily housing projects, as well as governmental builds for organizations like Sandia National Labs and Kirtland Air Force Base. Whether it's facility management, an owner, even the tenants living in these buildings that we design, you can use the digital twin to understand power usage, understand sustainability, even just understand who is where inside of a building to help you better use that space and make sure that every inch fits your needs. Chad Brummett, KRQE News 13. Diaz says that in addition to their own firm, DPS is implementing the technology on a handful of their new projects with clients, hoping that digital twins will someday become the rule to smart design rather than the exception.